Ready for a cool new look? These lenses are now available for the TourTech Aventura Carbon Helmet. Actually, they're not made by TourTech, they're made by Nex, who actually produces this helmet. So let's have a closer look. What's up my biker friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to introduce a couple more options if you want to change the look and design of your TourTech Aventura carbon helmet or if you have a Nex helmet that's very similar to that. You can upgrade with different lens options now. For a long time the only thing that was available was a clear lens and then you had two different versions of tinted lenses. Sort of a medium tint and a very dark tint. So you've seen me using the dark visor on my helmet for most of the videos that are on the channel. That's about an 80% tint on the visor. And now there's a couple more options available that are actually sold by Nex for their helmets. But since the TourTech helmets are made by Nex and they're so similar, those lenses actually will fit the TourTech helmets. So this year, guys, is my TourTech Aventura Carbon Helmet. This is a 2015 edition of the helmet. So it's a quite a few years old and it has the iridium red visor on it which I think looks pretty cool. I kind of like the orange look because I had it with my goggles when I go off-road riding and has this really nice look. And I wanted to try if this actually works uh, for the helmet just to change up the look again. So I got this lens. Now I actually haven't used it on the motorcycle, but I did take a closer look how that lens is different from the very dark, dark lens that I'm using. So I actually held both lenses up to the light and I'm going to show you a clip where you can get an idea what it looks like when you look through uh, both of these lenses. Now, the dark lens that I normally use on my helmet has about an 80% tint. So it takes 80% of the light out and that's 20% of the light in. That's pretty dark, but for very sunny days, that's actually really good. That's typically what you have on your sunglasses too. It's somewhere in the range of 60 to 80% of light absorption that you have. So 80% is great for really bright weather. When it starts to get dark, then that lens quickly becomes too dark. And I had a few moments where I was riding in the dark and I didn't bring my clear visor. So <laughs> I was stuck using a dark visor on the helmet. And that's not something you really want to do all the time. So if we look at the two lenses, obviously they look different because you know this is a red lens. It gives a completely different style to the helmet, but also the tint isn't as strong. They didn't really say how much the tint was. My guess it's somewhere in the range of maybe 60 to 70% tint. So it's a bit less than the darkest version that they have. Also the color is a little different. It has a bit of a blue sort of tint to it. And then the uh, the other one is almost a neutral gray. It seems like it's a neutral gray. And you only see that when you really compare the two. Other than that, you know, it's a tinted visor. There's actually a good place for a visor that isn't tinted as strong. So if you have sort of normal overcast weather, a really dark visor may just be too dark for some riders. So having sort of an in-between solution or something that isn't quite as tinted will still work well in overcast days and probably gives you a bit more time when it starts to get dark that you can still use that visor if you have nothing else available, if you didn't bring the clear visor or have some means of just opening up the visor and, and, and riding. When I was riding the um, Trans Euro Trail earlier this year in the spring, I actually brought my dark visor and I didn't really have a plan how long the trip would actually take. So I didn't bring my clear visor. I thought I would be home way before it would get dark. But the only thing I had was my dark visor and I enjoyed myself so much that I kind of lost track of time. So by the time it was at the end of the trail, it was already getting dark and I still had a two hour ride on the Autobahn. So it's pretty quick riding. So it's not something that you can open up your visor with. If I would have had this, maybe this would have lasted a little longer, but it got so dark. This is the time when you really have to switch to a clear visor. But again, if it starts getting dark, this will last probably a bit longer. Now, the look of this very much compares with the 100% goggles that I have. It's a very similar tint. It's this sort of red orange tint that the goggles have. And also looking through the lens, it's very similar. It's got a similar tint to it. It's not quite as dark as some of the other lenses are. So it'll be a while before I can actually uh, take this lens and this helmet on the bike because I still can't ride yet. I'm still recovering from, from the accident. But it's going to be first thing I'm going to do is take this lens out for a spin. It's going to be, if I'm able to ride this fall, it'll be in the fall. So it's already going to get darker and you know, maybe this is actually a good thing. And then see what it looks like on the motorcycle. So the thing is with these visors, they're actually not offered by TourTech. They're offered by Nex. Since Nex makes the helmets for TourTech and their own helmets, and these visors haven't really changed since the first introduction of this type of helmet. Still using the same mechanisms, still using the exact same visor. 
Now you basically have the choice of everything that Nex offers for your Touratech helmet and vice versa. All the lenses the Touratech offers will also fit on the Nex helmet, which is really nice. So that's probably the reason why not a lot of people know this. I haven't really found much on this particular lens. There's also a blue option available. There's orange and there's a blue option. It's a medium tint and there's a dark 80% tint that is now available for this lineup of helmets which I think is really cool. Now, I guess aside from the fact that it kind of looks cool, it probably grabs a bit more attention to the, you know, the whole aspect of being more visible to oncoming traffic. You know, if you're all dressed in black, you know, guys, I like black and I like black clothing, but maybe having something like this with an orange visor, especially since that is the first thing that oncoming traffic is seeing, maybe uh, a bit more noticeable in traffic too, without going to a high-vis neon orange helmet design or having sort of a neon color high-vis vest. Still don't think they look very great. I'm sure they help with better visibility, but so maybe this is a good compromise. Add a little bling to the helmet, be better visible for oncoming traffic. Anyway, guys, short video just to introduce it for those of you guys that didn't know, because I just by accident stumbled across these different visor options. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, put them in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in the next video. Until then, ride safe and stay awesome.